All right, guys, so we have reviewed or tested a uh, piece of software by these folks here before, but we had tested it on the Mac version. And when I reached out to them, they said, you know what, you should try the Windows version because there's, there's more bells and whistles. So I was like, okay, let's try the Windows version. Anyways, what we're going to do is look at this. This is Unifab right here. Unifab, you can see it on the screen here. Uh, right now, I'm just, I have the trial version just so that we can see what you guys would get if you just downloaded the trial uh, versus the Mac version. Now, the Mac version is at like 1.0.0.0. It's, it's so, it's the very first. It's where, you know, it's, it can't get much newer. Uh, my computer's just launching a whole bunch of crap. Uh, anyways, this, as you saw at the beginning, was already at version 2 point something, 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 uh, which, which is great because it's been, a, been around for a while. So I got so much stuff just launching here. Don't care. Anyways, there's a few things. Well, there's actually a lot of things that the Mac version doesn't have that they said they are trying to implement when they have more updates for it. But, uh, of course, upscale to 4k right remove noise from video so that's actually really good isolate vocals from a song what up mix audio uh 5.1 to 7 and 7.1 so you can take i'm guessing you can go stereo to those which i don't quite understand but if you can isolate audio maybe what you could do is actually just take kind of the audio and then take the other stuff and surround it and then push the audio to the front speakers. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. Uh, boost frame, frame rates up to 100 frames per second. That's kind of cool. And convert SDR to HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So if you are trying to mix and match, let's say, let's say even Dolby Vision or HDR footage that you take from your iPhone and you want to be able to take your standard footage from your camera like I'm shooting here so that they kind of mix on the same timeline a lot easier that could be very cool anyways uh again i will put links down below if you look at this we're not going to try all that today we're trying two things we are trying the up res so i've downloaded three video clips from online so one is a uh, 480p clip one is a 720p clip and one is a 1080p clip the uh, 480 and 720p ones i believe are both 30 frames and the four the, sorry, the 1080p one is 60 frames. So we're actually going to take those and both do up res this. So we're going to up, res, up res them all to 4K. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to try to see what the smoother is like. And we're actually going to do the smoothing. Maybe we'll do the smoothing first. Smoothing first. And then smoothing up res to 4K. That's what we're going to do. Anyways, if we hit start free trial here, you will see that you have the ability to try each of these three vid three videos three videos each right so if you wanted to do one of these for instance we have the hdr upscaler video enlarger which is what we're going to be using uh audio up mix the smoother again smoother is what we are doing when we're doing like a 30 to 60 or 60 to 120. uh you have a denoise a deinterlacer a vocal remover and a video converter so let's say for instance we were doing the smoother Yes, so here's the smoother. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe I just hit... No, I should say smoother. Smoother? Oh, nope. Smoother. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, maybe I just close this. Oh, yeah, so just close it. The other stuff takes you so that you can buy it. Anyways, this looks very similar to the Mac, but you are seeing 2.0.2.6. And there's a 2.7. So I'm just going to update that, and uh, we will be right back because we bought the newest and greatest of the software. Now, while this is updating, uh, because this looks like it should be, the fact that it has more things that you can do, awesome. But the way that it's laid out and set up looks very much like the Mac version. So if you want maybe even a little bit more of a uh, quick look at this, you can go search for the Mac version on, on the channel. Um, this is currently installing, which is good. Make sure all this is closed because, again, this is a power-hungry piece of software. So make sure that you are uh, plugged in when you're doing it if you're doing it on a laptop. And make sure you have time because this is not something that you click and be like, yeah, it should be done in three minutes. If you're doing like a 10-minute video, be prepared for it to take possibly a couple hours. So you may want to queue some videos up and do an overnighter. You know what I mean? Anyways, the uh, update fast. That's good. 
Now this is running on an 11th gen Intel i7, 16 gigs of RAM. So again, integrated video card. So nothing overly exciting for power. Uh, where again, we're gonna start our free trial, close this, and we have our, let's go to first our smoother. Yes, so this is our smoother. And what we're gonna do is we can just hit the plus button, but I do have, I believe, I do have somewhere uh, on one of these, I have in my downloads folder, actually we'll do that. Video, I believe it's in my downloads folder that I actually just downloaded some stuff. Did I find it? I think I found it. There it is there. So uh, what I'm going to do is take these three files and I'm just going to drag them here. Which is what you would think I would do. You know why? I think it's because it's cause this is a compressed folder. So I think I have to maybe, can I decompress this? Open, 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 extract. Here we go. Extract. That's what I have to do. I'm getting there. Takes me a second. Okay, ready? These are them. These are them. There we are. Now we're rocking and rolling. Okay, so now we have these three. You can see here, again, like I said, uh, 30 frames, 60 frames, 30 frames. And we can go in here and basically you'll see this says it's going to convert it to 90 frames. This is going to convert it to 120 frames and 90 frames. Uh, I do believe if you go into your settings, for instance, you can say what you want. So if you just want two, two times, right. Or even four times. So let's, let's, let's go, let's go. We'll set it as default. So we'll go like three times. Now, if it is, let's say a 60 frames per second, you won't have the option to go up to three times because you can only max out at, at 120 frames a second. So just kind of be aware of that. You can apply this to all if you want. Uh, and you can go in here and change all this information to bitrate and the pixel stuff, how good your quality you want it, right? Uh, if you want quality to just all all the goodness that you can do, you'll see your, your actual file size gets bigger. Uh, and then you can see apply to all of it and it should go through at the start and then, and then we'll hit start. But we're not going to hit start yet um, because, uh, no, we are going to hit start. We have to do that. Um, but just to show you guys, there's the enlarger as well. So if I was doing the enlarger as well, and I, let's see if I can, uh, can I find that one day, one day I'll get better at windows. I promise. I promise I will, you know, uh, downloads. Let's just go in here. So if we were here, same idea. So if we took this and went over into this one, this, and even it. For some reason, I brought up the up mixer. Did I pick the wrong one? A larger. I got it larger. So maybe it's asking, oh, while it's enhancing this video, would you like the quality to go up to 5.1? Why not? Let's, what the hell? I don't know. Can I turn this off? I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, let's just do that. And same idea, because you don't see that. It says 5.1 on this one, yes? That's excellent. But we're just going to change these all to 4K. Same idea. 4K, same idea, 4K. You can go into the settings of each of these again and just be like, just crank the quality ray up. You can say all this stuff. So if you want it to be H.265, if you want uh, different bit rates, et cetera, et cetera, you have all those kind of options, which is cool. Uh, you can just do an audio pass through so it won't affect, it won't change any of the audios and we can, we can do a, apply to all and you'll see that they all go to 4K with the same settings. Um, what's nice about this too, as far as I know, is if you go back to smoother, they're still there. So, you know, if you were doing batches and say you wanted to do a bunch of smoothing on some clips and you want to do a bunch of uprising on another clip and you want to do a bunch, you could get them all kind of going. And then for instance, if I came in here and hit start, right, uh, you're going to try this. Yes, 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 whatever. Uh, and at that point in time, you'll actually see that this starts this one. It's a workspace. So that was, uh, Let's see the up -reser, right? I think that's the up -reser. No, this is a smooth. This is the smoother. Right, no, this is the up -reser. Then I could go to the smoother, for instance, and start that as well. And in your workspace, you'll see it's doing all of it. So you could just be like, cool, I'll, I'll see you in the morning and you're good to go. Anyways, uh, I'm going to let this all run. I'm going to, again, do the smoothing, then do the up -resing on the smooth footage. And we'll come back and we'll take a look over, over there. 
All right, guys, so everything has been done. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the final clips. Actually, we'll start with the original clips. And they've been all conformed to be playing at 24 frames. So if it was 30 frames, it's going to be played at back at about 80%. Uh, if it was 60 frames, it's been playing back at 40%. You know, and then what happens is 60 frames, you know, we, we, it all gets moved around, right? Based on its frame rate. But I will put on the screen the resolution and frame rate and just realize that it all started really low and it all ends up at a high frame rate, which we're going to play back in slow motion. Uh, and uh, it all ends up in 4K versus it could have been as low as like 480p. So I'm going to let you watch these because really that's the most important thing if you want to see what the software is capable of doing. And uh, that's it for me. I'll put some music behind the clips. Some of these clips will be long because they've gone from, you know, 60 frames up to 120 frames or whatever they are. All right, guys, enjoy the footage and we'll see you guys next video. Later. Mm -hmm.